Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. So I have this story, and it's coming from our second favorite state, honey, Trifling Ass, Texas. So what's going on in Trifling, Texas, you ask? What's going on is that basically six people were shot at this Haverstock Hills apartment complex. Um, from what they're saying is that two men got into an argument, and around 6.30 in the evening, which means that it's still light outside, it's not necessarily pitch black at 6.30, um, basically... Two of the men went back to their car, pulled out semi-automatic weapons, and got the shooting. They ended up shooting six people. One was dead on the scene. The other person died at the hospital. And the other four people right now are in critical condition. And what's even crazier is that one of the people that was shot was Brandy Rusher. If you guys don't remember Brandy Rusher, she was on America's Next Top Model Season 4. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video clip really quick. <laughs> But I thought you might come down the end of the runway and actually smack me in the face. You looked pissed off. There's a model angry. Yes, I And then there's a... You have that kind of... Oh. You angry, girl. Here is your best shot. Yes. Ooh. The yes. overall shape of the face is, is beautiful, gorgeous. but there's... All right, so you guys just saw that video of Brandy on America's Next Top Model. So this whole situation is just really, really disturbing. And from what I've been researching, they're saying that there's been, you know, a lot of violence at this particular apartment complex. I don't know if Brandy lived there or if she was visiting, but this is another one of those cases, like I always tell people, you have to be very aware of your surroundings, the people that you're around, because sometimes other people's drama can befall you. You know what I'm saying? And for what I'm hearing, she was wasn't involved in the argument she had nothing to do with this but she just happened to be caught in the crossfire so this whole situation is just really really sad and appalling i want you guys to go ahead and watch the news clip really quick check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary blow though, they blow this motherfucker yeah, he's he's with his eyes on. Like, shoot, gotta shoot. yes it's, 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 the girl jumped out the girl got, don't pull a gun if you ain't gonna shoot well uh -huh. i guess uh, they shot his mouth off. In that critical condition. They shot Wayne in the mouth? No, no. Yes. Wayne, uh, Wayne is over there. Oh, okay. Whole I am tired of it. Every other month, uh, it can it, it needs to just declare a war well, on drugs over here. Just declare it. And now angry residents living in a northeast Harris County apartment say their neighborhood has turned into a war zone. Suspects shot six people at the Haverstock Hills apartment complex last night. Two of them have died and four others are still in the hospital. And one of those shot is this woman whom neighbors tell us is Brandy Rusher who is 32. She was once a contestant on the TV show America's Next Top Model. Our Matt Doherty has been covering the story since right after it happened yesterday. Matt, what do residents say needs to be done there? Well, neighbors are asking for help. They're saying the violence happening inside of these gates is uncontrollable. Now they're asking law enforcement to implement some serious security. And if they not going to safely secure y'all and y'all families and y'all innocent children, get y'all up out of here. That's what we're going to ask for. Neighbors say they're tired of living in fear. You, these people want to be safe just like everybody else. <laughs> Sunday evening's violent event sent bullets flying inside the gates of the complex and a man dead in the street. The same where children walk and play. And now a group of Haverstock's neighbors are joining together, passing out flyers among fellow residents in the complex, urging them to attend a demonstration tomorrow night as they petition local leaders to bring peace to their homes. This is their home. They must secure this complex. Now back out here live, you can see some of those organizers holding some of those, some of those flyers right now. And they're passing them out to people who are driving into the complex and their cars. I have one of them right here. And I'll read you some of the things that they're asking from officials. So they're going to be meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right outside of the uh, Haverstock Hills apartment complex. They're demanding the installation of video cameras throughout the complex. They're asking that all of the gates here be in operation. They're asking for security ID cards for every one of their residents. And they also want an armed guard to be posted right outside the gates 24 hours a day. Coming up tonight at 5 and 6, we're going to take a look at some of the violent history of Haverstock Hills, see if it's gotten any better or has it gotten much worse.
All right, so you guys just saw the news clip, and I am glad that the citizens in that complex, that they're coming together and that they want to see change. You know, unfortunately, when you live in a poor neighborhood or in a poor section of town, a lot of times they won't put the same thought into security in those neighborhoods because they feel like, well, you know what, you're poor, and, you know, it's a waste of time. But then when you go to the more affluent neighborhoods, there's a, you know, security guy right there at the front gates. Like they said, the gates are working. You know, there's a big difference on how the community and how the police and stuff like that deal with poorer neighborhoods as opposed to richer neighborhoods. It makes no sense that those gates are not working. The people who are living there are paying rent every month and their money is supposed to be going towards maintaining the property as well. So if the security gates are not working, you know, it just makes no sense because imagine if the gates would have been working they might not have been able to get out. They might have been trapped in the complex. Their car would have been, you know, trapped in the complex. That way, the only thing they could have done is just basically try and hop the fence. But at least that would have been more evidence. And right now, they're trying to find out the guys who did this because they don't have any idea. I'm sure somebody knows, but nobody is speaking right now. So it's going to be really interesting to see if they end up doing anything to help these people in this complex. But I'm glad that they're stepping up as community leaders and that they're demanding change and they're tired of being plagued by violence. You know, just because you live in a low income area, just because you live in the hood does not mean that you're okay with the killings and the shootings. Like they said in the news report, these people want to be safe just like the people who live in affluent neighborhoods. You know, so the whole situation is just really, really sad. I hope, you know, something comes of this and I hope that Brandy ends up pulling through because I did love her on America's next top model so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire trifling situation honey coming from our second favorite state trifling ass texas all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.